What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Chloe Bailey. Uh, I was sent a message by an aspiring actress by the name of Moni Monroe. At least I said her name. And she was deeply disturbed by the fact that she felt like she was banned from the set due to Chloe Bailey being upset that she posted a behind the scenes video on her story while they were filming a movie and she felt like it was chloe that did it because she tagged chloe in the post and chloe may have seen it and was may have been upset about that and gotten her banned from the set well let me just say this i saw a twitter discussion t today or this morning about chloe bailey and how people feel like her image is forced of course it's forced because there are people behind the scenes who are pushing her in that direction it doesn't mean that she doesn't want to go in that direction right but i think that you know a part of her wants to be you know the she wants to be she wants to feel attractive a lot of these women they have never felt that way i mean you can even ask chloe i, be, I believe she even talked about feeling insecure about herself and how she looked growing up and you know people understand that never goes away that insecurity never goes away and i don't think chloe's insecurity has ever gone away and i think not only are there people behind the scenes who are pushing her in this direction but i also believe this is something that she may want to do on her own too she just wants to motivate she's being given the motivation to do it and in regards to this situation with her uh getting this aspiring actress fired that's something that i believe goes on with a lot of these young ladies with egos i think chloe bailey has an ego and she probably felt like you know why are you tagging me you're so annoying get out of here now this is based off of moni's account okay because there's always going to be other sides to the, to the story but she feels like she was wronged now I don't 100% know. I'm bringing this information to the forefront. Maybe people can talk to her or do their own research, but I'm only speaking and highlighting the fact that a, a young of another black female feels like she was wronged by a black female. Cause let me tell you something right now. Black women don't like each other. They will, they will support each other in the short term. If they have, they have a common goal, but they will stab each other in the back the first chance that they get. They will stab each other in the back the first chance they get. So the fact that Chloe may have gotten this young lady fired, that that, that actually that doesn't surprise me because people are not who you think they are. Just because Chloe may seem wholesome, I mean, look how she has altered her image. That's not just of other people, that's what she's wanted as well. And that brings ego right they believe they're bigger than they are but unless you start making music people care about no one's going to care about you a year from now you're just going to be another lost female dating rappers and athletes just to stay relevant now i would hope that that's not the case i would hope that she did not get this particular young lady fired because ultimately what goes around comes around right and she seeks sympathy so much on social media because she feels like people are bullying her you know people are saying mean things about her which is totally not true just like on the twitter thread that i saw today people are wondering why is her image so forced you can tell women who are naturally who they are you look at sweetie right that's just sweetie right sweetie wants to be that that's who she is with chloe bailey you don't really believe it chloe bailey has the type of body that she knows will get attention and she's using that to her benefit her music career but i don't think people really care about her music career has she gone on tour is she performing live that's how i gauge an, uh, 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 an artist if you can't go and do shows on your own without it being an award show or a festival, to me, you're not really succeeding as an artist. 
because male artists do that all the time that's why a lot of these female artists are failing that's why they're behind because they don't have an audience social media is not real life right social media is only a small fraction of society because most people are not on twitter most people are not on social media like that they're not so when i look at how things are today with somebody like a chloe bailey her ego has probably gotten bigger and bigger she feels like she should be the only you know i, I just seem like she might have that that sense of I am. I should be getting the most attention into to particular room, but I just want to bring a, a awareness to this because again, this is a person saying this that was done to her, and she feels like nobody wants to speak about. It, of course, because these blogs protect Chloe Bailey. They protect. They they protect her to a, a certain extent because then they allow her to do things that are detrimental to herself. Right? They won't tell her the truth. You know, talent, it's, it's not just talent anymore, especially with black artists. You don't see white artists having to twerk and having to date rappers in order to get their music platinum. They, you know, you either like good music or you don't. And the way things are structured in hip hop or what's left of R&B, you have to promote yourself a certain way. You have to promote yourself. It's, it's unfortunate, but that's just how things are, you know. So, I'll I'll link you to the person Monet Monroe, who said this happened to her, and um, also make sure you like this video and share it. Y'all can do the research yourself. So follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.